In this video, we are reviewing intake breathing strips. And before diving into it today, if you are looking for more awesome content around losing fat, building muscle, and improving your health, tap that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to be notified when we release new videos, and like the video to let me know that you enjoyed it. Now, the benefits of nasal strips, whether this is your first time seeing them or you've seen them around before, both sleep at nighttime, really optimizing recovery, preventing mouth breathing, which can cause dental issues, bacteria in the mouth, and then if you're a snorer, it can reduce that. And then it's also during the daytime for just optimizing performance, improving oxygen absorption in the body, lowering your heart rate, and potentially even maximizing recovery. And so as someone who is all about fitness, all about health, all about the new products to perform at a higher level and be healthier, I had to try it out. And so I want to pre-frame this. I reached out to the company themselves and they sent me this product, but they are not paying me for this video. They are not swaying my review in any way. This is a totally unbiased, honest review of my experience. So before anything else, let's start with the hardware. So if you're interested in starting with intake breathing, the starter kit is the first thing you want to buy. And so the starter kit basically includes everything you need for the strips, which we'll go into in a second, as well as 10 sets of adhesives. The kit itself is $40. So as far as pricing goes, it's definitely more expensive than the generic brand, which you can probably get about 30 strips for about $16. However, to me, this is well worth it. And I'll tell you why in a second. And then as far as the starter kit, you can also get a refill plan. Now, if you buy that separate one set of 30 is about $36. If you subscribe and you can choose either 30 days, 45 days, or 60 days when they send to you, it's going to be $25. So you save 11 dollars which is awesome and then if you buy the kit and the refill plan all at once it's 67 dollars plus you get free shipping and i know it is a little steep so we actually got a code for you guys so if you are interested in testing these out once you hear the review just use code skyfit at checkout and that should save you 20 percent on your order so let's open up this kit and see what we've got inside so first impression of this kit um, pretty cool it looks like it's going to be very very simple to travel with just put it in your bag it's got everything in there and you can carry 10 strips at a time which is great and so if you open it up, it's just a simple clip and you're going to have a couple things on first open. So the first on the top, you're going to see some adhesive wipes. Now it is recommended that you clean your nose and we'll go over the process in a second, but they give you a couple wipes in here, which is great. These are not necessary. So if you wash your nose, you use soap, you know, you're totally clean before you put them on, you're good. But if you are out on the go, this is going to be a major benefit to clean if you want to apply. If you look at below that, we have four separate things here. Now the first is going to be this black case. And if you open it up, it's going to be where all the adhesives are. Now, the cool part about this is if you get a replacement plan, you can literally just swap this out. So pull this little piece out, then you put the new one in, and then you have access to this for 10 days at a time. The second thing you'll see here are these two different pieces. Now, depending on the size you get, you have the small, medium, or large option. And if you do, for some reason, choose the option that's a little too small or a little too big for you, they're going to send you a replacement. It's not a big deal at all. But you do have two options depending on whether your nose is a little bit wider or a little bit less. And then this last piece here, which is really, really cool, is basically a magnet that allows you to pick up the adhesive. So if we pop this open, we basically put the magnet up against it. One of the strips is going to pop up. You then have the opportunity to peel it off and using the magnet, place it on your nose, which is a huge, huge plus because with the other strips, you know, you have to take it off like a band aid and then you have to grab it and you're usually grabbing the bottom. So you're getting some of that adhesive on your fingers. And so with this, you don't even have to touch the adhesive. All you do is just, you know, push down on the thing to peel off the plastic. And then you have the adhesive with the magnet and you can place it and you're good to go. Now let's get into the actual adhesion. So super, super simple. When you get the kit, they provide you a link for a video and the video actually has step-by-step -step how you put on. Um, all it is is three steps. So number one is clean. And I can't emphasize how important it is that you clean the position in your nose that you're putting this on before you actually use it. I've completely forgotten to a couple times or I've showered and then I've waited an hour and I guess that's enough time for the oils to build up in my nose and less than 12 or so hours later, I'll see the stickers coming off. And so on the days where I fully clean my nose, these last 24 plus hours, they've been great, but I do want to emphasize that as long as your nose is clean, you'll be good. But if you don't clean it, you probably will experience some problems. Second step is obviously going to be apply. So you're just going to use the magnet. You're going to take the uh, adhesive itself, pop it on, peel it off, and then you're going to find the positioning on your nose. Now, do not rush this process. Don't expect that you're going to get it right on the first try. It took me about two or three days before I was finally able to get the positioning that worked best with my nose. But when you do, it's kind of muscle memory, right? You know where it goes, you know it works well, and then you can find it there. And so finally, once you apply it, they say wait about five minutes just to get the adhesive set in. So I would just squeeze the nose kind of like you're just pressing it in and making sure it sticks. And then after about five minutes, you can put on the piece and the piece has magnets. So all you're going to do is you're just going to bring it to your nose with the indented part facing up, and then it's just going to click in. And as soon as it clicks, you're just going to feel your nostrils widen. You're going to take a deep breath through your nose and you're going to be able to feel it immediately. Okay. Pros, cons. 
Pros, number one, it's a high quality material. Compared to the other stuff, I know a lot of places in China, they do these knockoff materials and it actually contains more toxins and more of this irritable stuff in the actual adhesive. And so when I was using the generic brand, I was finding it would be on for probably about like 12, 13 hours and I would take it off and I would basically have just a red mark across my nose and I was getting some acne and there's just a lot of stuff where my skin was acting up. Whereas this, I've tried keeping these on and I did for 48 hours just to see how long they would last. And I took it off and there were small marks, but within a couple minutes they were gone. There's no irritability, no added acne, and so that's a huge bonus for me. Second pro here is that you can target where you want to open. If you have maybe a deviated septum that is a little higher up, you can now move the patches up and then open it up up there. If you're just looking to open up the nostrils more, you can move it a little down, but it's gonna be totally custom on your nose. Pro number three, not as invasive. A lot of these strips, I mean, when you think about it, they're using the actual nose to open it up, and so what it ends up doing is it ends up pulling and scraping on the skin, Whereas with this, there's these two stickers and then it's being pulled out rather than out forward. And so if that makes sense, like with the other ones, you can end up stripping the skin of your nose if you use them long enough. Whereas this, it's just these two little stickers and they're pulled out and there's not much friction against the skin. Pro number four is that this has been very, very sturdy and durable. A lot of the other ones, when I would be in an intense exercise session, I could see them start to pop off. But with this, it's been no issues. I mean, the first day when I didn't have them on perfectly right, they popped off for a quick second when I was doing box jumps, but immediately popped back on. Um, easy to remove, right? Like if I'm doing an interview or something, I love how they are the color of my skin. And so you can see here, I pop it off and you barely see that these stickers are on my nose with the webcam. You know, obviously it's gonna be a little more noticeable in person, but here it's not a big deal. And then quickly I can just pop it back on and boom, I'm back in the game. Um, as far as sweat resistant too, it's totally durable sweat. I've gone on super long hikes where I was drenched in the sun. I've done intense workouts where I've been sweating and I haven't had any issues with sweat getting under there and removing off the band. And then the fifth pro is I truly have had noticeable benefits with this. As far as lactic acid buildup goes in my muscles when I'm doing endurance work, I've noticed less of that lactic acid burn, which tells me I'm getting more oxygen in the nose. And it's also been cool to be focused more on just keeping my mouth shut and breathing through my nose. Whereas with my septum before, there was no way I could get enough oxygen and without using some of my mouth breathing. So not only that, but it's also been very noticeable for me with sleep. When I wake up in the morning, it's pretty noticeable on the nights that I have not worn this versus the nights that I do of the quality sleep that I'm getting, which makes sense because I'm most likely breathing through my nose instead of my mouth and I'm most likely getting more oxygen in my body. So those are the pros for the band. So let's talk cons. Um, con number one for me is obviously the price, right? If you're just looking for something and you're not taking it as seriously and maybe you don't have this in the budget, to pay $30 a month or whatever you're gonna opt in for the actual replacement costs is a little bit stretching when you see their competitors who are, you know, like I said, 16 or so dollars for 30 bands. And so I see that as a negative, you know, to me it tells it that it's higher quality and from my experience it obviously has been, but I can't go by and not mention that because it is a pretty large difference in the price. Second con for me would be it's a little bit more difficult to get that placement right. So you are probably gonna end up using two to four days to really figure out what works best. But what's cool is when you get adjusted to that, you're able to just stick with it and it's gonna work much more effectively than the standard strap. And con number three, and this is a pro or a con depending how you look on it, is it's obviously very noticeable, right? Whereas with the skin colored one that goes across the whole nose, you can probably see it a little bit, but you're not really gonna stand out as much. Whereas this, I mean, I walk everywhere and people are looking at me. I don't mind at all, but a lot of people ask me what it is. And it's kind of one of those things where if you're an introvert or you don't like being looked at, or you don't like being judged, it's a little more noticeable than your other options. So that's all I got for you. As far as big picture, I love these things. I see myself using these for a long time, especially when I'm sleeping. You know, exercise has been pretty noticeable, but sleep for me is what's truly, truly important. Like I'm okay performing a little less in the gym because I'm not really training for anything specifically, whereas my sleep is my energy and my performance during the day. So that's really important to me. But it's also one of those things where I'm able to wear them all day. You know, I shower at night, I put them on after my shower, sleep with them, wake up, do my two workouts, and then I shower at night again, and that's when I swap them out. And so for me, I'm absolutely gonna use it. Um, do yourself a favor, if you're at least intrigued, check it out, use the code SKYFIT to save 20%. But these could be the difference between, you know, you waking up your spouse at night because you're snoring and not snoring. It could be the difference between you giving up at five reps because of lactic acid buildup versus seven or eight reps. And so depending on what your needs are or your desires are, this could be a good choice to try it out. So I'm curious, if you leave me in the comments, what has been your experience with nasal strips? Have you tried them? If you have, have you used this specific brand? Let me know in the comments because I'm always interested in hearing from you. But besides that, if you're looking for more awesome content around fitness, around fat loss, around health, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, tap that bell icon, and tune in for more future videos. And so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.